Hey there folks and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I of course from your host CDB. You are not and I was looking down there because uh, today we're going to use the Vikings Blade Emperor which is actually a pretty good looking uh, adjustable razor. This was sent to me by the inspector uh, for Nicola. Um, <clears throat> got it from, uh, he got it from Amazon, it's from Viking Blade the Emperor. Uh, comes in a decent box. And it's got a you know nice cutout for the razor with some uh, information inside, including sort of some tips on levels of aggression uh, and so on, which is pretty cool. It's got the uh, three here, like one, two, and three is mild, four, five, six, medium, seven, eight, nine, uh, aggressive, and so on. So that's pretty cool to have that on the inside of the box. A little more material there I won't go through. It's about, uh, I looked about 59 or 60 bucks on uh, Amazon. And again, it's it's uh, adjustable, you know, butterfly design. There's an Astra riding in there. The one thing I notice is if you turn it all the way up, say it to max and you try to close it, it has trouble closing. So, but if you back it off uh, a little bit more there, let's see that time it did have, there we go. So sometimes the doors, might be a little finicky depending on where your adjustment is on it but if you work with it it's okay that's what the uh, gap and exposure looks like if you can see it I'm gonna just turn it all the way up and just go full-on aggressive and see uh, what it's like it is a nice looking razor kind of reminds you of something that's been uh, like a fat boy that's been sent to Delta Echo or something so thanks to the inspector for sending this for us to try he also sent the uh, Williams um, Ice Blue, which smells pretty good. It smells like a an old barbershop type scent to me. So I'm going to take my West Coast Shaving Synthetic and my old uh, uh, Maca Root Tub and just mix some of that up in there. I like the scent of this uh, Williams. What did I say it was? Ice Blue? Yeah, Ice Blue. It smells pretty good. So thanks, Inspector, once again, and Laura his uh, lovely wife. And so we'll uh, mix this up a little bit. See how it goes. I don't know if I put enough in there, so I'll put a little more in, in there. I mean, we got plenty of soaps and cream, so why not use as much as is, uh, use as much as needed. Okay, so let's wet the face. We will shall lather up and then we'll see how this Vikings Blade Emperor does and I know I've heard nothing about the razor have never seen it used uh, the inspector didn't tell me anything at all about it because he knows I don't really want to be influenced he had his own thoughts which he did not share just told me he sent it and said you know give it a go and let me know what you think so I said sure he also sent me a, a razor from Rex I can't think of the name of it I'll be trying also. It's not the uh, adjustable one, which I think is the ambassador or something. It's something else. I don't know the name of it. But you'll see that this week sometime. So let's set that down. Let's put that box out of the way so it doesn't get wet. Wipe off the area here and see how this fellow shapes. It is a good looking razor. I even like the little, it's sort of like a ball in there it's pretty cool uh how does it feel feels okay no problem not as smooth i think as the uh rockwell for me but you know i'm on max uh aggression here so maybe maybe next week Tune it down a little bit and just see. I can definitely feel a quite a good bit of blade there, so definitely it's going to be more aggressive than your fat boy on its high setting. If you're uh, accustomed to using that sort of uh, adjustable, but really no problems. Certainly feel the blade though. The only thing I've noticed so far is that those doors and the way they close, perhaps not as precise as say a uh, fat boy or the rockwell or something like that but 
first pass there, actually not too bad. Again, I wasn't taken aback in terms of it being just super, super smooth. Um, so let's turn it down a little bit on this pass and just see how we feel about it. We'll go to about, let's go to about four, which is just a little bit over mild and see how that feels. Um, my impression of that particular pass was good pass, not super, super smooth. Uh, but again, I started out, you know, as far up as the razor would go. So we'll go down a little bit. And then maybe on the next pass, we'll bring it back up a little just to see where it is. And again, this is all, you know, uh, aggression and all that's personal preference. I can use most anything, but what I really do like is a smooth, smooth razor. I didn't get super, super smooth from that first pass. However, it was uh, nothing bad at all. Um, nothing that bothered me or would be troubling. I just didn't get like silky, silky smooth. And again, that could be just because I'm not familiar with the razor, but a lot of times I'll have a first go with the razor and it's just like that's that's right on time. Now this pass feels uh, a little more smooth for me. So that's good. Maybe I just turn it up too far for that very first pass. Maybe I just need to, you know, adjust it down a little bit. Could very well be, but we shall see. Razor feels good. It's, uh, it's hefty. I mean, it, it is not light. Um, but it feels good overall, and it certainly looks good. It is, you know, pretty handsome, uh, that, that much, I can tell you. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go back to cross over here. Yeah, feels good. I'd say this pass is, uh, much better than the first in terms of feeling smooth, and it could be, again, just not being used to the razor and so on and so forth. So we'll, you know, obviously use this one some and see how I feel about it as time goes on. Uh, but that's what organic reactions are for. Hey, that's just the way it felt on that first pass, but it is feeling better now. So there's that for whatever it is worth. Okay, so second pass, much smoother than the first. Um, let me open the door so because I probably shouldn't be adjusting this with the doors. Close. Let's go up to five, which is about in the uh, in the middle, and see how that feels for our last pass. And then we'll see how we feel overall after this uh, pass. The uh, the William Shaving Cream here is quite good. Smells really nice to me. Doing a really good job. No problems with the. Shaving cream at all, and of course, we're still using our old West Coast shaving, $16. 16 to 17, I wanna say. Sometimes they put it on sale. Might be able to get it cheaper. That's a good brush. Uh, I've been using it nonstop for quite some time now, and it's doing very, very well. Leaving me really wanting for nothing, and so. All right, let's roll with our final pass with the, uh, the Vikings Blade Emperor. There was some uh, material, and that feels pretty good. Um, with this razor, it said it was the number one selling razor on Amazon for a couple of years. I don't know whether that's true or not. That is in the marketing material. I don't know how you would know that. Maybe they do. Maybe Amazon tells them. I have no idea whatsoever. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen this razor, you know, me. So, but that doesn't mean anything because, again, I'm not on the cutage, cutting edge of, you know, shave geekery at this point in time as I once was. But uh, I do think I'm a better evaluator now of the things that work for me. And so that's always been the standpoint from which I do these videos. This works great for me. And I must say the um, much, much better shaves the second two passes or much, much smoother passes. This has, uh, I didn't mention this, the one side of the bar is smooth and the other side's sort of got texture. That's a little bit gimmicky for me. I have never, you know, I've had some of the Icon razors that have different heads and 
I don't really care for that personally. I don't think this one shaves all that much different regardless of which side you use. Um, obviously there are people probably who will argue that point, uh, but for me, yeah, there's not a lot of difference. So if they're marketing that, you know, it's dramatically different, uh, I would say no. However, there are, there are probably people who would take note of that and say, oh yeah, it's, it's dramatically different night and day because once they think it, you know, that's what they think. Whether it's true or not, you know, like I keep saying, you can be influenced in what you're told and marketing materials and other people watching, you know, these videos and so on and so forth. And so they give you initial thoughts, which sort of take residence in your head and then you sort of spout the same things. You can do that. That's why I really like to approach things organically without consuming all that stuff. Then later, I go and look at some of the other stuff. Go, okay, I was about you know, on average what most people felt, or maybe I'm way off in left field, but you know, people do have differing thoughts. So the verdict on the basis of one pass. First pass, which was on Max, was a little bit, it wasn't as smooth as I would have liked. Uh, plenty of aggression. I wouldn't say it was overly aggressive, just wasn't crazy smooth, but it was, you know, you could feel the blade. The second two passes where I was on four and five, really nice and smooth. Um, so overall, I would say good looking razor, um, provided for a, a nice uh, shave, um, adjustable. It's pretty hefty. So uh, if, you're, if you're averse to weighty razors, this might not be for you. But overall, uh, I would say I would give it a positive first impression. Not as smooth as the uh, Rockwell, at least on that first pass. But overall, good first impression. Um, definitely plenty of uh, uh, aggression, not overly aggressive. Overall, just, you know, good first shave with it. We will uh, sort of reserve judgment about the razor in its entirety until we get some more um, experience with it. Um, but I'd say overall, pretty good. Nice packaging. So for $59... It might be worth taking a flyer on, but you know, sort of stay tuned. We'll use this more and let you know how I feel over the next, you know, say, few weeks. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, EDB. You're not. God bless.